everybody and welcome to your favorite Korean shopping program, OK Market. I'm Eleanor, your host for the program, and today I want to introduce another very special market to you. And if you are standing with me right here, you might already guess what this market is all about. Because you can kind of smell the ocean. And you might think, why can you smell the ocean in a big city like Seoul? But that's what that is because of this place right here, the Norangjin Fish Market. Norangjin Market was first opened in front of Seoul Station in the 1920s. And then it moved to Norangjin in the 1970s. This is a representative seafood market of Seoul with a history of 100 years. As a wholesale market, seafood from around the country is sold to retailers through auctions and customers can get fresh seafood at reasonable prices. Actually, as a German person, you know, we only have the ocean at the very top in the north of our country, so I'm not that experienced with seafood. Today, we have a big mission. We want to see all the seafood that there is in Korea, see all the fishes, all the clams, all the crabs, and then, of course, we have to taste test them. Are they fresh? Are they delicious? And what kind of pairings go best with each other? That's what we're here to find out. So let's go check it out. Come with me. Can you see this? Sanakti, <laughs> sanakti. Oh, oh, we can do this. Let's try this. Agi sangu, agi sangu, you know. Okay, so the first thing, of course, you notice right away is the strong smell of seawater, of fishes, of just sea life in general. And I mean, right from the beginning, you're greeted with this, this kind of sight. Just crabs and crabs and crabs. <gasps> this is crazy. Look at this. Okay, these are all things I've never seen before in my life. Look at this. Look at this, a huge aquarium full of fishes. There's the striped one, the delicious and expensive one. But there's no cute ones over here, right? I'm cuter. You know, it's kind of hard to decide where to go first because this place is huge. Okay, so I just received some insider information. You know the different colors of the signs that you can see? They actually let you know what kind of products are being sold. We have the orange one, which is called Peru. And that is all kinds of shellfish, you know, shellfish, clams, all these things with a hard outer shell, those you can find in the orange section. And on the other side, we have paro, the blue one, and that is fresh fish. So as you can see, these are less the shellfish ones, but all different kinds of fish. I see some salmon, that's the one I know. And then I see a big range of other fish I have not seen before. And at the other side, we also have some pink. We can check that out later. But definitely one thing that is very practical, even if you don't know Korean, you can definitely find your way around just by looking at the colors of the signs. So that's the thing to keep in mind. Oh, okay. We have something that I know. We have the shrimps over here. You know, the regular shrimps, they're still raw. You know, they get pink when you cook them. I know those. Um, we have some clams over here. I'm not sure of the specific name that I know. The abalone, you see them there in the back? I don't think I've seen ones that are so big before. Wow, but what is this? 사장님, 호, 혹시 이거 뭐였어요? 해삼. 해삼. I'm not even sure what their translation is in English. I'm sure the subtitles will be put here for your convenience. Ah! It's like a pickle. You know, a pickle that is slightly soft. Happy eating! <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's try. Bon appetit. Mm -hmm. Okay. First of all, it really does taste like the ocean. And this one is more like... It actually, the consistency is kind of like a pickle too. I'm not joking. Oh, I'm good, thank you. Oh. Look at this. This orange kind of round thing. I'm not sure what it is. Oh, oh. <laughs> what is this? It's a monkey. It's a It's almost as if you're eating a fruit because it's so juicy. Mm, not bad. You can see it here. It's like the mini octopus. It's very lively. Okay, you know it's really fresh. Oh my god, it tried to eat me back. Oh my god. Look at this. Can you see this? It's still moving around. Okay, let's try this. We can do this. Let's try this. Okay, the taste is good. You know, it's tentacles were sucking onto my tongue, like not trying to let go. You know, if you are from a country that doesn't have a lot of ocean, similar to Germany, this is definitely an experience that you should not miss out on. In the lower part, is it a shark? Is that a mini shark? You know? I just found something shocking, you guys. Do, do you see this? It's it's a huge head of a fish. Oh, there's some really big ones over here too. See, they're huge. I think now is the time for the main player. Hey, so raw fresh fish. 안녕하세요. 혹시 한번 물어봐도 될까요? 어떤 생선 가장 인기 많나요 여기서? 어미, 광어, 광어, 얼돔. 얼돔. Oh, and I guess they're the ones down below here the ones that you can choose to eat you can see how fresh they are you know swimming around <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. Ah, 그래요. this will be delicious i'm sure <gasps> yeah about four people will be able to get a full belly from it Okay, so this is the one most popular fish at the moment, so I think we should try this one. Let's get it. Oh, we got a lot of good tips, so a lot of fresh food. And I should just try everything, that's pretty much what I heard. But you can actually get the food here and then eat it upstairs, I just heard. So even if you don't want to you know, eat it here in the hallway, apparently there's some place where you can get the food and just eat it while sitting down. So that's something to keep in mind too. <laughs> we got our fish. Let's eat it. Okay, so now we came up to the second floor and as I learned, there are a lot of restaurants. We walked along the hallway and there must have been like 20, 30 different restaurants, but it doesn't really matter where you go. In every restaurant, you can just come in and eat the food that you bought below, but you only have to pay a small price for your seat. 
And in this case, it's written on the wall over there, it's only 4,000 won. So for 4,000 won, I get to have this seat all to myself. Of course, all the water that I want, all the sauces that I could need for my food. So I think this is a very good opportunity to really sit down and relax after being so busy downstairs. And yeah, just enjoy the food, enjoy the view for a very, very affordable price. Soft. Look at this. Octopus. So, 잘 먹겠습니다. Oh, this is good. It's so soft and smooth, but the sauce is a little bit spicy. It's not very spicy, but it definitely gives the fish a little bit of a of a zing, you know, like a little bit of extra pep. Mm. That is delicious. So next we have a squid. The special thing about this squid is that it has a big bone and the squid is enjoyed with this sauce by the locals. So I will try that too. Mmm. Oh, that is an interesting texture. It is soft but chewy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This is a fish called Tomi or a snapper in English. But as you can see, they grilled the whole fish and put it on the plate like this. So now I have to kind of pick it apart. Oh, okay. Oh, this, this looks nice. Mmm. Oh, this is good too. Mmm, mmm, mmm. They put salt on it too. This is a good one. Mmm. Okay. You know, we have this in Europe. Norwegian salmon is very popular. You can see it here. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is a good fish. Mm. <sighs> Recommend about visiting this market is, of course, first of all, it's really, really fresh and it's also very affordable. In contrast to going to a restaurant or like a department store, this is really the place where even on a smaller budget, you can get fresh and delicious food. And the last thing that I really want to mention is the people are so friendly and helpful here. I bet you got very hungry while watching this video. I definitely had a very fun time here today seeing all the different kinds of fish which I really didn't know existed in such a large variety. And yeah, it was just a very memorable experience. So I hope you enjoyed your time with me too and be sure to look out for the next video where I will introduce another place where you can go shopping in Korea while also enjoying Korean culture. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!